You're watching Destiny Church. Live your call, fulfill your destiny. Hey, how many of you are excited for this afternoon? Hey. Okay, so first of all, I would like to greet every one of you. Uh, uh, again, no? uh, for those of you that are joining us for the very first time, welcome po to Destiny Church. No? If this is your first time joining us this afternoon, okay, uh, I, let me just tell you something about who we are. Just uh, about two weeks ago, we celebrated our 25th anniversary. Yeah, and can we just can we just give a hand once again to the Lord, no, for that uh, amazing celebration, ano? Yun nga, uh, meron, ano, uh, I'm not still done with uh, the celebration. That's why uh, this Sunday I decided together with with my kids, no, that uh, my family is out natin yung ano, yung uh, Destiny merch natin. So I'm wearing this uh, <laughs> this uh, hoodie. No, na for, uh, to commemorate yung anniversary natin. Ano? So, yung, yung theme natin, remember, is trials and triumphs. No? So, uh, there's something printed here, destined to triumph. Okay? How many of you believe that that is your destiny? Come on, guys. Okay? No, you have to know that God, we've always been, okay, and destined for triumph. Okay? You have to believe and you have to realize that that, that is God's plan for your life. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. We keep on talking about this, no? Every single Sunday, no? Ano sabi sa Jeremiah 29, verse 11? Sabi ng Lord, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to what? No, to prosper. Okay? Probably one of the words that is synonymous with prospering is what? No, yun nga to triumph. God wants us to experience a victorious life. Okay? Tama ba? A life of victory. Okay, a life that is triumphant over what? Over our bondages, over our sin, over the power of the devil. Right? Tama ba? Okay, I don't know about you. I, I want to win in this life. And that's why Jesus came. No? To destroy all the works, all the power of the enemy. Right? Right? Hey, what happened here? Like, we, we just came from a, a triumphant anniversary. I don't sound... I, I don't hear people... No, like as if they're triumphant. How many people are victorious here to, this afternoon? Come on, come on. What you lose your you lose your your uh, your triumph already? Come on, eh? Sabi nila, di ba? The noisiest people are always the winning people. Have you ever thought about that? Ever ever attended a basketball game? Pag natatali yung team mo tahimik, <laughs> di ba? But the moment your team starts to rally, like you become like, yeah! Okay? Winning people are the noisiest people. And you know if you if you are winning in your life, no, <laughs> by the kind of noise or silence that you make. Amen. Sabi dito, no, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. God has a plan for us. He plans to prosper us. But not only that, He plans to give us what? Hope and a future. Isang buhay na puno ng pag-asa. Isang buhay na may maaliwalas na kinabukasan. Amen? Hey, I want us to pray right now as we get into the Word of God. Lord, we just want to thank you, God, for this uh, afternoon. And I pray that as we expound more about prayer, Lord, let there be a spirit of prayer in this place. Lord, we invite your spirit. Help us for us further understand, Lord God, the true power of prayer in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay, over the last, uh, at the start of the year, we opened this year with a brand new series, and we decided to start this year with what? A series on prayer, okay? And it's already what? Uh, already February, that means, no, we are, uh, we're already a month and a half, no? It, it means that over the last eight weeks, every Sunday, we have been talking about this topic, patungkul sa pananalangin. And you're thinking, Really? Is, is, no, ganun ba kadami, ganun ba kalawak ang pananalangin that we have, no, that like, like for the no, last 
one month and a half, we simply had been talking about prayer. Okay? When, when, I, when I look back at the last 25 years of the church, no, I, I, no, in as much as it is a story of trials and triumphs, no, this church no, has always, no, I, you know, we have always talked about that journey of trials and triumphs as a journey of prayer. I cannot imagine, or there is no trial that we have come out triumphant apart from the power of prayer. Okay? And, and this afternoon, I would like to share you know, once again you know, on, on prayer and fervency. Last week, you know, we already heard, uh, we already heard the, the, this topic about prayer and fervency. But as, as I was talking to the pastors, you know, as we were developing uh, uh, this topic for, for this Sunday sermon, I realized you know, that there's still a lot more that we can squeeze out no, out of just this, th this topic about prayer and fervency. Okay, uh, I'd like to open up with, you know, with Hebrews chapter five verse seven, and this describes you know, the kind of prayer that Jesus offered before God. Okay, and you might think that, you no, know, did Jesus really need to pray? After all, isn't he God? Isn't he the son of God? Why was there even a need for Jesus to pray? But as you can see, Jesus did pray. And he didn't pray, you no, know, religious, uh, lifeless, you no, know, boring prayers. As you can see in this verse, sige basahin natin, ano? Sige nga, sabay-sabay natin basahin. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 7, let us read from the NIV version. 1, 2, 3, go. During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverent submission. Okay? We are given a glimpse. No? Nobody amongst there no, was able to witness the kind of life that Jesus lived. But then the Bible talks about the stories of how Jesus lived, how God Himself, no, became man. You know, He became, uh, He, no, He became incarnate, no, and He walked as a human being. Though He was God, sabi don, He left all sa left all His godly attributes and became fully human, to the point na sabi sa Bible, no, that He experienced. No, every kind of temptation there is the same way that you and I are able to experience temptation. No, sabi nga sa Hebrews din, no, that we are, no, that we have a high priest who cannot empathize with us. Okay? Jesus, be, I mean, I've always thought about that even as a young believer, no. Was there really a need for Jesus if, if God wanted to save us? Wanted to save us from sin? Wanted to save us from, uh, from hell? Did he really have to come down? Wala pa siyang kapangyarihan to simply, I'm gonna save earth. I'm gonna save people. But what was the, the relevance of him coming here on this earth? Becoming fully human. Sabi, and, and if you read the Bible, no, he experienced hunger, just like you and me. He experienced being thirsty. No, He felt sorrow when his friend Lazarus died. Sabi doon, no, Jesus wept. He was not even able to contain himself, no, uh, in terms of grieving and, and being brokenhearted for no, a friend that was dying. He experienced, sino na ditong nabitray? Ng friend? Tama ba? He experienced betrayal. He experienced, no, he experienced literal pain and suffering, or the wounds that he experienced on the cross. Okay? And, and all, all, kaya sabi nyo, there was no temptation that Jesus not has not experienced. He is familiar with us, except he did not sin. Kaleng, di ba? You know, he was triumphant over sin. No, that's why he is able to save us. Okay? So, you know, now, here, we are given a glimpse of the kind of prayer that Jesus prayed. Sabi dito, during the days of, life, of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers, the kind of prayers that he offered up, in petitions with what? Fervent Christ. Say, say the word with me. Fervent Christ. Okay, say the word with me again. Fervent. 
Ano yung sabihin ng fervent? No? Para medyo deep English ito. We don't usually uh, say the word fervent, but then maybe, maybe there's something more that we're familiar with when you say, no, he did this with so much fervor. And we have fervor, it means, no, if you look at the dictionary, eh, the word fervor literally means having or displaying passionate intensity. Now, I, I like how the dictionary describes fervor. No? In fact, it might have been uh, redundant. Eh? Kasi sabi dito, passionate. Okay? How many of you know, you, you already have a grasp pag sinabing napaka-passionate yung taong yan. Look how he passionately does his job. Look how he is passionate about arts or music. How he's passionate about his work. And then you can, you can almost see, you can almost picture a man that is full of passion. Ano ba? Any passionate people here? Any passionate people in the house? I cannot imagine a life without passion. Your life would be so boring, lifeless. You know, when you talk about, no, and, and you know, when you talk about passion, it, it's good to be around people of passion kasi nakakahawa yun eh. eh? Right? Hey, 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 hey. I just, I just want to make clear, no? though, though, though I'm being flooded with a lot of lights here, I can see you. I can see I can see in the dark. <laughs> I can see if you're not only not passionate, but I can see if you're sleeping. Don't you sleep in me. Are you there? Yeah. Hey, I don't go up here and you know, ask the Lord to charge me with so much passion so that people can, can sleep on me. No. Are you there? Yeah. So passion. We have passion. passion. Hey, but then the dictionary defines it this way. Passionate intensity. <laughs> and then you have two words that are literally synonymous with each other. Intensity, intensely. Passionate na nga, intensely pa. <laughs> Taka ka na tao, intense. Pwede siya gabi, intense. No, tingin mo yung mukha ng kapatid mo, intense ba? Mukha ba intense? <laughs> mukha bang passionate? And now you have this, this, Two words that basically mean each other to describe one thing. Fervor. Fervency. Fervency is defined as you know, having or displaying passionate intensity. I cannot. You know, I, 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 I believe there's no better word to describe you know, such a word. In, in the Bible, you know, the, Greek word for, the Greek word for the word fervency is the Greek word Agonizomai. Okay? Parang tunog siomai, no? pero hindi, hindi, hindi. Okay? Agonizomai, which basically, that's, that's where we get the Greek, the, the, the English word, agonize, agoniz. Agonizomai, to agonize. And I, I don't know if, if nangyari na ba sa, sa buhay niyo that you come to a point where you, you know, there was so much agonizing for something, so much grieving. That's why when you talk about the death and the suffering of Jesus, it is called the pa- yun nga, pag tuwing mahal. Ayun, kapapasok lang ng mahal na araw, di ba? No, the, 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 the whole Christian world is, no, I think was it last week when we had, uh, no, the Catholic world started, uh, uh, what's this? No, the, the Lenten season with the Ash Wednesday. And when you talk about, no, how do we describe, no, the suffering of Jesus, the passion. Yun yun eh, the passion. Because it was intense. No, you know, there was when when Jesus prayed, no, on uh, what's this? On uh, on Gethsemane, sabi doon, he the, the prayers were so intense that he started to sweat blood. So tindi, talagang yung gigil, talagang he was agonizing. I mean, he was about to face the cross. There was so much passion. No, we're not talking about cute prayers. Bless O Lord and these thy gifts which we're about to receive from Mamanti. Amen. Nothing wrong with that prayer. But sometimes, kadalasan yung panalangin na alam natin is, yun nga, mostly repetitive. It's not connected. It's just, yala, wala lang, for the sake of prayer. But the prayer that really connects, the prayer that really, no, no reaches heaven, I believe, is ito eh. No? Okay. This kind of prayers. And, and, and we see Jesus Okay. Praying such kind, you know, 
I, I want to ask you honestly, have, have you ever come to that point where you know, the way Jesus was described, ganito yung pananalangin mo? Okay? With fervent cries and tears. Not so many people you know, have engaged, you know, not so many believers have engaged in that kind of prayer. Okay? But we're going we're, we're gonna to learn no, because that, that is, no, to tell you honestly, no, that is the found, one of the foundations of this ministry. Okay? When we were just students back then, no, we, we cannot afford a cinema. We cannot afford all these lights and sounds. No, sometimes it's, it's, it's nice to reminisce and go back to those places when we really had nothing except what? Except just prayer. No, and we would agonize and we would pray, no, fervent prayers, no? Uh, okay. So, I'd like to quote E.M. Bounds, one of my favorite authors in prayer. And, and by the way, you know, if there's a, a book that probably can supplement the Bible in terms of understanding prayer, I'd like, you, I'd like to urge every one of you to get a copy of E.M. Bounds. No? Any book of E.M. Bounds on prayer, he has a whole, no, a whole number of books, no? And in fact, uh, it's, it's only cheap. If, if you use Kindle, whether you are using, uh, what's this? You're using uh, Apple or, uh, or Android, no? You can download in your phone, yung Kindle app. And then, no, if I'm not mistaken, merong mga, merong mga EM bounds that are just for free. Okay? And then you can read this. And, and one, of the, one of the things that EM bounds said in, in one of his books, so sabi niya dito, the praying which gives color and bent to character is no pleasant, hurried pastime. Medyo old English, no? You need to understand. E.M. Bounds lived during the, I think, the 18th century. So you, even your English is what you call old English, no? But let, let's start. Sorry, the praying that gives color and bent to character, it's not the kind of pleasant, hurried pastime. Hindi daw ito yung parang madalian lang na pananalangin, parang masabi na kapag pray lang. It must enter as strongly into the heart and life as Christ's strong crying and tears no, did. Must draw out the soul into an agony of desire as Paul's did. No? Describing the Apostle Paul. Must be an inwrought fire. And, and, and that's why kanina we were singing that song. A fire burns within me. Eh? Burns within me. No? You know, when you talk about prayer, prayer is a fire. No? Apparently, marami mga pananalangin ngayon, no? <laughs> they, they appear to be more cold than hot. Okay? If, if you, you were to describe and look at how you pray, can your prayers be described as something that is fire? Hello? No? So sabi dito, no? Okay? It's, it must be an inroad fire and force like the effect of fervent prayer describing what, uh, yeah, the Apostle James said. No? Must be of that quality which when put into the golden censer and incense before God works mighty spiritual throes and revolutions. No? Ganun daw kapangyarihan yung prayer no, na sabi dito, no, it, it rises up to God like a golden, and maybe some of you are, okay, uh, can you go back? Uh, yeah, Paolo. Keyboard, maybe Sam, I don't know. Okay. What, what was that song that you were sing, singing a while ago? Okay. Yung, yung, yung incense, that, that, that line, the bridge? Yeah, you, that, just, just the incense part. Can you sing that song, that part? Because I, I realize, not many people realize, like, for, for sometimes for a song to be to be real no? and, and forgive forgive me forgive us because sometimes we sing Christianese <laughs> no, yung Christianese no? we sing songs that only people that have been around church for so long can understand and if you're new and let's say you're not no, and when I say new you might even be a year in, in your Christian faith and maybe it's possible that you haven't really read your whole Bible yet, so this song might not even mean anything to you. Sige, sing that line. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, 
Predominantly, ang background mo, all your, most of your life is Catholic, no? What your understanding of incense is, yun nga yung, di ba? And I, I don't know about you, when I, was, when I was going to the Catholic Church, I didn't like that. <laughs> like, no, the, the scent of that is just too strong. And wh- what is this? Like, now, you need to understand in the Old Testament, the priest of the Old Testament, they, they, part of their worship, there's not, by the way, there's nothing wrong with that ritual of incense. In fact, no, kailangan lang natin maunawaan what the incense mean. Okay? Can, can you, uh, bro, can you uh, give me my cell phone? Wala insenso yung cell phone ko. Pero may verses. Na tiningnan, uh, I, I went to the book of, no, and just, just to far so better understand, kasi nga may, may mga bagay na parang Okay, and, and by the way, the reason I, I, I thought about this was my kids. I mean, my kids, they're, they're, they've been in the church for quite some time. They love the Word of God. They, re, they read the Bible. And as we were driving here, we were driving here. So, tinatanong sa akin ni si Julia yata. Sabi niya, Dad, anong papakanta mo? What song do you want? Sabi ko, I, I already told Paolo, I, I, I said, same God. Okay? And... Uh, Oh, kasi pinakantan, pinakantan nila ni Pastor Olive this morning, this song yata, no? And yun nga yung, uh, day and night, night and day, let incense arise. And, and sabi niya, sabi ni Julia or ni Sam, sabi hindi kasi namin kinakanta yun eh. Hindi kasi namin naintindihan. <laughs> and it's, and, 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 and that, that, that like, yeah. And I realized, my kids, no, it's not that they don't want a song. They don't want to sing that song. It's just that for them, it doesn't mean anything. No? But it's a powerful song. Okay? Check this out. Go to... I'm, 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 I don't know. I'm being spontaneous right now. Multimedia, so forgive me. Just so that we can explain. So that we can learn. Get, get your Bibles. Get your phones. I know most of you have your Bibles on your phone. So open it up. Revelations chapter 5, verse 8. Revelations chapter 5. There's a mention here of... So the book of Revelations, no? Okay, just, just a little bit lang, Paolo. Kondi lang, hinaan mo lang. The book of Revelations, no, talks about no, the visions of the future. Si John, one of the apostles of Jesus Christ, yun nga, he was thrown into the island of Patmos, no? And he was given revelations of what is to come. He was able to see you know, pictures or glimpses of heaven. And one of the things that he see, sabi dito, yung isang vision niya, Revelation chapter 5, verse 8, And when he had taken it, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb, the Lamb of God, which is Jesus Christ. Each one had a harp, and they were holding golden bowls full of incense. Hearing you, man? No, they were holding golden bowls full of incense. Boom which are the prayers of God's people. You know, no? Alam natin yun that, that when, when, you, when you light a fire, no, there's smoke. Fire? And when there's fire, there's smoke. And the smoke naturally rises. And, and, and why, why, why is there incense? Mausok yung incenso eh, di ba? No? Mausok yung incenso. And makita mo yung smoke nagra-rise. Now, there's really nothing in the incense, but... God wants to give us a picture of what our prayers are like. When you pray, it rises before God. No? And then sabi doon, that in heaven, it's, it's like, just, just to give us a picture that there's, there are balls that are filled with the prayers of, of God's people. In other words, hey, listen to this. Walang sayang na pananalangin mo. Sometimes you think your prayers don't go anywhere, but prayers, fervent prayers, prayers that come from your heart, not repetitive, cold, religious no, prayers, but prayers that come from your heart, even the simple prayers. No, those rise up before God. No? And sabi dun, it's, there's a bowl that sabi dun that, that no, it, it tips. Pag puno na yung bowl, no, parang it tips. And, and the picture is, no, when, when that bowl tips, no, God's grace, God's, 
revival, God's presence, no, is poured out. Okay? And, and that's what's happening right now. I don't know if, if some of you, no, maybe your, your social media is being filled with news about this revival that broke out in, in the U.S., no, in this university, yung Asbury Revival. And, and for those of you who do not know, meron isang university, it's a, it's a, ano, ano, a university in the U.S., no, by the name of Asbury University. And right now, for I think two weeks already, or more than two weeks, prayer meeting nonstop. Walang tapos. The, it, it was an ordinary service. No, no, nothing spectacular. It was started by students. And they just, they just continued. Wala po talaga, no? No? Tuloy-tuloy, no? Nagsasalitan lang sila. And now, literally, tens of thousands come to see, to witness the presence of God in that place. <laughs> right? the, the whole uh, auditorium is filled with people. Okay? You have to, one of my friends, no, who is from in Canada, drove all the way to the U.S. Parang, I think, it's a 20-hour drive, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> no? and, and they came and, and sabi niya, there is a, you have to wait parang two days in order to get in. But just being in the outside is just charged with the presence of God. No? And, and, and anyway, so, here's another verse. Okay? Just, just to give you an idea, itong incense na to, no? Para pag kinanta natin ulito, naintindihan nyo, ayun pala ibig sabihin nun. No? Okay. Revelations chapter 8, verse 3. Another angel who had a golden censer came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense to offer with the prayers of God's people on a golden altar in the front of the throne. The smoke of the incense together with the prayers of God's people went up before God from the angel's hand. So it is a picture of, you know, yung prayers natin is rising up before God. And that's why when we sing, no, they, they, Night and day, let incense to rise. Ah, napipicture ko yun, yun, yung mga panalangin natin. Over the years, no? Over the years, the prayers that we did, no, for those of you that have been much more longer part of this church, no, the prayers that we did, no, at, uh, at the Carillion Tower, no, those are rising up. The prayers that you have right now is joining those prayers. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Kanda ng picture ng prayer, no? Right? Tama ba? And that's why we need to pray. No, God, no, God, God loves our prayers. Okay? God is, is, no, God is pleased with our prayers. Okay? So, now you know. Okay? Thank you, Paolo. You can go back later. So, balik tayo dun sa, ano, sa fervent, no, prayer. What do we mean by fervent prayer? Okay. I'd like to I'd like to give you several qualities or several characteristics of what fervent prayers are. No, sabi, sinabi natin kanina, the dictionary defines fervency as what? No, passionate, no, de, uh, no, passionate intensity. Okay, but now let let's look at ano nga ba to? Ano, okay, so what is a picture of no, fervent prayers. Number one, fervent prayers seek God. Okay. And, and I was thinking about this. No? You know that no, one of the ways that you know that yung pananalangin is something that is true, something that is fervent, okay, is that first and foremost, the object of that prayer is nothing more and nothing less than God himself. You want God in your life. Okay? And, and throughout my 30 years of being a Christian, you know, so many times I have cried out to God. No, when I say cry out, I mean literally crying out with tears. And no, no, sana nga tears lang eh, pero no, there are other things mixed with tears that we don't want to say. <laughs> 
No? <laughs> Tears. No? Sabi na nga natin, no? talagang pag umiiyak ka diba sa Panginoon, and I would remember, someone's kneeling down and just crying before God. Hindi mo mapigilin talagang yung sipon mo, yung uhog mo, no? talagang halu-halo minsan. No? Hindi mo mapigilin maglaway, no? kasi you're just crying. Eh, nakita kang bata na umaato. And, and, it's, it's, and it's a cry for God. No, you want God. Okay? No, the object of fervent prayer is God. His will. God, I want your will over my life. No, hindi nga. Not my will. Kadalasan kasi yung struggle natin is, no, our own will. Okay? Yung selfishness natin. We want to do things on our own. No, and we need to get rid of our unselfishness. That's why we need to cry out, Lord, let there be more of you. Di ba, may song ngayon, more of you and less of me. No? We want God, no? God, that you increase and I decrease. Okay? And, 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 and those, are, those are real prayers when you pray for more of God in your life, more of godliness, more of Christ-likeness. No? You pray for His will. You, you seek His face. You seek His presence. No? Look at this. Psalm 63 verse 8 in the King James Version, sabi dyan, My soul followeth hard after God. Eh? Some people think that Christianity is a walk in the park. That, that you know, when, when Jesus calls them, come follow me. But, but we need to understand, no? no? There, is a, there is an intensity in following God. No? And, and the psalmist understood this. My soul follows. He describes the kind of following. Eh? Because, bakit? No? But ba- ba- it's I follow hard because there's a lot of things like what? That really try to pull you away and distract you from really following God. Diba? No, don't you see that in your life? There's just so much, so many things that distract and pull you away from pursuing God. No? But then that's why you have to make that choice. No, God, I want to follow you. Okay? With intensity to follow hard. No, that's, that's how... No, this kind of this kind of prayer is described. Okay? My soul, my soul follow it hard after you. Thy right hand uphold it me. No, sabi dito again ni uh, ni inbound. So sabi niya, prayer must be a flame. Yeah, you know, when you talk about hard. Okay? Again, there's, there's there's that kind of intensity. No, and when you talk about passion, no, one of the best ways to describe passion is fire, a flame. No, he's on fire. He's a flame. Diba? Ang init niya. Diba? Kunyari sa game of basketball, we talk about someone who's on fire. No, ang init niya, bawat tira, pasok. No? Okay? And sabi dito, yun nga, no? People who win games, you cannot be, you cannot be winning games and you're just not into it. Ever seen, no, athletes, no, that are really, co- like, no, that the real champions, yung mga competitive level, they're intense. Eh, may gigil eh. Kita si, si Hidilin, when he posts, hindi ba? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hindi. Like, talagang makikita mo yung mukha. Uh-huh. Di ba? Right? People who play g- basketball, di ba? Talaga, they're, they're intense. They're, no, people who run. These are, these are what makes people win. And then when we pray, what is that? There's nothing wrong with our Father, the Lord's Prayer. Jesus taught it, but that's not meant to be memorized and just religiously repeated over. No, Jesus said, this is how you pray. He didn't say, memorize this, you're good. <laughs> no, sabi niya, ganito, paano ba, paano ba na, turuan ko kayo. No, pwede magsimula ng, yun eh, paglapit sa ama, ama, na nasa langit, you, you address God, you're in heaven. No, and there's a, no, yun yun eh, it's, it's a matter of how. And people miss the point because we think, no, that yun nga, parang you just say this and you're good. No, Jesus didn't pray like that. He prayed. Sabi doon, how did Jesus pray? With loud cries. If Jesus were to pray, no, the, the Lord's Prayer that He taught, you would be picturing Him, Our Father! God! 
Let your kingdom come. Your will be done. No, yun yung prayer niya nung ano, at the Gethsemane, sabi niya, not my will. And he was, he was agonizing. Diba sabi niya, no, not my will. Let this, let this, sabi niya, Lord, if there's any other way, let this cup pass from me. Kung mayroon ibang paraan, Lord God, ayokong magdaan sa cross. But then he said, not my will. But yours be done. Yun nga, no, fervent prayer, seek God, His will. No? Again, Ian Bound said, His prayer must be aflame. Its ardor must consume. Prayer without fervor is a sun without light or heat. Ang ganun, anong play of words niya, sabi niya, prayer without fervor, eh, without fervency, is a sun without light or heat. Eh? Or as a flower without beauty or fragrance. A soul devoted to God is a fervent soul, a pra- and prayer is the creature of that flame. He only can truly pray who is all aglow for holiness for God and for heaven. You know, he only can truly pray who is what? Aglow for God, for His holiness, no? and for heaven. Do our prayer lives no, reflect that kind of pursuit of God? Now you can say, Lord, I fo- no, my soul follows hard after you. Fervent prayer, seek God. Its object is God. Now, in Exodus chapter 33, verse 14 to 18, the Lord was talking to Moses. And sabi ng Lord kay Moses, Moses, I will personally go with you. He, he, he made his commitment to Moses. No? And I will give you rest. Everything will be fine for you. And, and if, okay, picture niyo si God. You, you are Moses. Can you imagine you're Moses? And the Lord just told you, Moses, I will go with you. And don't worry. Every, like, everything will be fine for you. In other words, lahat ng ba magiging okay para sa'yo. What, what would you be your response? Honestly, like, what would be your response? Thank you, Lord. And that would have probably been the most natural response. God, thank you. I don't deserve it, but thank you. No, no. Moses, <laughs> look at how Moses, is, what Moses said. Then Moses said, if you don't personally go with us, don't make us leave this place. And, and ito yung time that they were journeying from the wilderness into the promised land. And sabi ni Moses, Lord, if your presence will not go with us, Wag na lang. Sabi, anong saysay ng, anong saysay ng buhay kung hindi ka namin kasama? And that right there, no, is a fervent prayer. Moses was crying out, God, I want you. And if your presence, Lord, will not go with us, there is no point. If our worship will just be empty worship, just songs, no, there's no point. God, if you're not here, if you're not with us, what are we doing? Are you getting this? Your object most, God, we want you. We want you. No? Look at the fervent prayers. This is okay, unselfish. Eh. And I realized, ko, no, in my life, and probably with most, most of you, our, our deepest cries, our deepest longings is for more of God in our lives. Sino na, no? Sino na dito at least at one time talagang ngumawa ka o matunga ka? Lord, baguhin mo ako. Lord, gusto kong maging katulad mo. Change me, God. Lord, we want you. I want you. I want you in my life. Okay? Mayroon na ba dito umatungal para sa... Sino lumuhod ka at asay mo? Lord! Lord! Pera! Pera, Lord! <laughs> Naiyak tuloy yung bata. Alam niya. Wala. Nobody. Hey, we, we pray. We, if we don't have money, God, provide ka naman, Lord. We, sincere, Lord, I need you, Lord. Provide ka. Pero wala pa ako alam, wala pa ako nanig sa prayer meeting. Na, pera, Lord, pera. Gusto ko maraming, maraming, maraming pera. And it would be 
I mean, it, that would be stupid. And I don't think God wants us to pray that way. That's why I know when we talk about fervency, the first object of fervency is God himself. Right? Nothing wrong to pray. Did, did Jesus tell us to pray for our needs? Yes. So, I mean, Lord, this is how you pray. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Lord, provide, provide, provide for our needs. I, I, I don't think we, you know, hindi yun, hindi, or, or, or di ba, lahat naman tayo gusto mag-prosper. Anyone you like, nag, nag, nag-travel ka, uh, prosperity! No. But then when you pray, God, Lord, your will in my life. Amen? Amen? Are, are you getting this? Eh? No, sabi, so dito sabi ni Moses, yun nga, he, sabi ni Lord, sabi ni Moses, Lord, if you're not going to go with us, no, sabi, and look at what he said. Sabi, for how will anyone know that you, that you look pull apart? Are you getting this? No, what, what makes you unique, what makes you distinct as a believer, it is God no, walking with you, moving in your life. And kaya sabi ni Moses, Lord, I want your presence. If you're, if you're not gonna, no, hindi, hindi, hindi inas ni Moses, Lord, just make our journey successful. I'm okay. No, sabi ni Lord, sabi niya, Lord, I want you. Amen? Again, quoting from E.M. Bounds, no? Sabi dito ni E.M. Bounds, no? We need a generation of believers who seek God. Seek Him early. Who give the freshness and due effort of God, of due of effort to God Secure in the return of freshness and fullness of His power that He may be as Jew to them. Ano yung Jew? Hamog. Nagkakaroon na humog, hamog sa umaga. So again, there's, there's a, a picture that, that Ian Bounds is trying to, ano, no, to, to give us. No? Kailan nagkakaroon na hamog? K- k- no? Yung mga taong gumig- yung gumigising ng maaga, eh, doon nila nakikita yung hamog. Eh. The Jew. The morning Jew. Okay? Eh? So we are full of gladness and strength through all the heat and labor of the day. Our laziness after God is our crying sin. Kung mayroon daw talagang kasalanan, sabi yung katamaran. The children of this world are far wiser than we. They are at it early and late. I, I, I reflected on this. No, sabi niya, the, the children of this world are wiser than most believers. Or, or sometimes, no, maybe... Yun nga eh, no? You're, how many of you are willing to wake up early because of work? How many of you do? Like, you wake up early. I, I know athletes who wake up early to begin practice. And in, sabi, in that way, they're far wiser. And yet, the believer can't afford to, you know, to wake up and put God first in his life. Sabi niya, they are, they are at it early and late. We do not seek God with other in diligence. No man gets God. No, no man gets God who does not follow hard after him. And no soul follows hard after God who is not after him in the early morn. Wow. No man gets God who does not follow hard after him. Did you just get that? Wala daw taong no, nasusumpungan ng Diyos if he doesn't follow hard. If you want to experience more of God in your life, you have to pursue God in a passionate, reverent, intense way. In a prayerful, fervent way. No man gets, gets God who does not follow hard after Him. And no soul follows hard after God who is not after Him in the early morning. 
Number two. What is characteristic of fervent prayers? Fervent prayers are prayers offered in behalf of others. No, in, in, in other words, no, talagang unselfish itong, ano, itong, itong fervent prayers. First, it seeks God. No? Secondly, it, it seeks the welfare of others. In other words, no, fervent prayers are intercessory prayers to intercede, to, no, to come in behalf of others. Okay? No, fervent prayers are intercessory in nature. Fervent prayers don't, no, they don't shrink back, they, they don't give up on the idea of praying in itself. No? In, in uh, Daniel chapter 6, verse 10, Sabi dito, now when Daniel knew that the document was signed, he went into his house. Now in the roof of his chamber, his windows were open towards Jerusalem. He continued to get down on his knees three times a day, praying and giving thanks before God as he has been doing previously. Now, ano, ano yung context nito? There was just a law that came out that said that Daniel cannot pray. That if he continues to pray, the punishment was what? He's going to be thrown into the lion's den. No? Pero ang galing kasi, despite the circumstances, hindi natin si Daniel. No? He just prayed. No? And, and in other words, he never quit on praying. Okay? He prayed to seek God. He prayed no, to, to, no, to intercede and stand in the gap. So, fervent prayers are prayers that are offered in behalf of others. And that's why, Taiwan, when we intercede for the nation, we inter- intercede for people, no? Talagang we, we, we put our hearts into it, we cry to the Lord for people. Okay? And, and I'm going to tell you why, no? Okay? And, and why, 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 what is in the fervency? What is in the intensity of prayer? No? And I'm, I would like to close with this, no? Why pray fervently? So, obviously, you pray, you pray fervently to seek God. No? The object is His will. You pray fervently, passionately to intercede and pray for others. No? Pero why pray fervently? Okay. Number one, fervent prayers give birth to God's purposes in our lives. It gives birth to breakthroughs. Okay. There are really a lot of prayers out there that go unanswered. That's just the reality. Marami mga nananalangin, and it doesn't, it doesn't change anything. No, why? Well, for one, it lacks fervency. There are kinds of prayers that God somehow answers. That God, no, you know, no, sinasagot ng Diyos. No, that, that, and, and one such prayer is, no, as, you know, it is described as you know, fervent prayers. It gives birth. The idea of fervent prayers no, is yung, yung isang ina, no, isang babae na nanganganak. Okay? In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 18, there's a story. Sabi niyo, there was a certain man from Ramataim, a Zulfite from the hill country of Ephraim, whose name was Elkanah, son of Jer- Jer- Jeroham the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, etc. He had two wives. One was called Hannah and the other Finina. Finina had children, but Hannah had none. Now, okay, just, just to clarify, no? Okay. There are things in the Bible that are what you call narrative. No, nabanggit siyan parang two wives. Oh, pwede pala yun. No, no, no. Okay, the Bible doesn't say that God approves of that. No? Malinaw sa Bible, no? Hindi binigyan ng madami asawa si Adan. Adam had one wife. Okay? No. But what what was we are being told here of no a culture that was happening at that time, it doesn't mean that God approves of it. It's it's just simply narrating yung reality. Malinaw? Okay, so you cannot use that. Oh, pwede palang dalawa asawa. No, 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 no. Okay? The Bible doesn't say that. Okay? Okay. So sabi dito, itong si Elkana, no, uh, 
He had two wives. One was Hannah and the other one was Fenina. Si Fenina daw may mga anak. Si Hannah had none. Year after year, this man went up from his town to worship and sacrificed the Lord Almighty at Shiloh, where Hopni and Phineas, the two sons of Eli, were priests of the Lord. Whenever the day came for Elkanah to sacrifice, he would give portions of meat to his wife, Fenina, and to all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah, he gave a double portion because he loved her. And the Lord had closed her womb. No, apparently, there's something no, interesting in this story. To see Alcana, actually, no, mas mahal niya, having two wives, no, apparently, the wife that she really loved was Hannah. Si Finayna, I mean, yun, it was a, some kind of, a, yeah, he was wife, but it tells us plainly that he loved Hannah. Well, unfortunately for, ha- for Hannah, si Hannah, walang anak, baog siya. Si Finayna, may anak. And you need to understand that during that time, it was children were such no, an honor in that culture. No, there's no point being a woman if you, don't, if you cannot bear kids. Parang ganun yung, yung idea nung araw. No? So, si, no, despite the fact na sabing ganun, binibigyan ng double portion. No? Kung anong binigay niya kay, kay Finay na, no, dal, kung, kung, parang ganito, just, just to <laughs> plainly, ano, kunyari, kunyari kape. No? Para kay Finay na, isang kape lang. Kay Hana, two shots. <laughs> So just, you know, do, double portion, no? Anyway, just, just to make it uh, simpler to you. Okay. Now her husband, sabi dito, this went on year after year. When Hannah went up to the house of the Lord, her rival provoked her until she wept and would not eat. Her husband, Elkanah, would say to her, Hannah, why are you weeping? Why don't you eat? Why are you down, downhearted? Don't I mean more to you than ten sons? Ha? Ganda, no? Ganda na. Hana, ano ba naman? Mahal. Eh, ba't ka nalulungkot? Ba't ka depressed? No? Hindi ba higit ako sa'yo no? compared to, hindi ba, ano pa? Uh, 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 paano yan? Hindi ba't mas higit ako sa sampung anak? Well, uh, sabi ni, ha- ni Hana, unfortunately, hindi. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry ka na lang. <laughs> sa, 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 para sa siguro sabihin niya, masyado kang bilib sa sarili mo. Excuse me. <laughs> Are you not, do I not mean to you as, ano, as more than 10 sons? Well, apparently, Hannah said no. <laughs> Once when they were finished eating and drinking at Shiloh, Hannah stood up. Now, Eli the priest was sitting on a chair by the doorpost of the Lord. In her deep anguish, Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. And she made a vow saying to the Lord Almighty, if you only look on your servant's misery and remember me, not forget your servant, but give her a son. Then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life. No razor will be used on his head. As she kept on praying to the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. But there was no voice. No, that was heard. Eli thought she was drunk. So, can, can you picture what was going on? So, Nandun daw, si, ano, nandun daw si, si Hannah in the temple of God, no? in the house of God. And Eli, yung priest at that time, saw this woman and he, he, was, he was there early and he was crying and he was moving. <laughs> Tingnan ni Eli, sabi niya, ang sabi nung priest, na, okay, nagpe-pray na nga, na-judge pa. Sa kuya, miss, Aga-aga, dito ka sa church, lasing ka pa. <laughs> Judger itong si Eli. Huwag ka dito, bawal lasing dito. Sabi, hindi ako lasing. Pe-prayo ako. Alam mo, pag intense ang prayer, uh, I, hey, when you're, when you're agonizing, when you're crying out, and people see you, you might really look like, like what's wrong with you. Like you're drunk or something. Hindi yung lasing, di ba? Nakalit siya yung lasing. Nakarat, naka, no? Parang walang sense, no? Nakahiga lang. Sabi, sabi dito, no? And he said to her, how long are you going to stay drunk? Put away your wine. Not so, my Lord, Hannah replied. I am a woman who is deeply troubled. 
I have not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Wow. Here is a picture of what fervent prayer is. A pouring out of your soul. Ang binubuhos niya talagang talaga yung, 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 yung hinaing niya sa Lord. I've been praying. Sabi, sabi niya dito, okay. Do not take your servant for a wicked woman. I've been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. Eli answered, Go in peace. May the Lord grant you what you ask him. And she said, May your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went her way and ate something and her face was no longer downcast. And you know what? Okay, long story short, the Lord answered her prayer. She got pregnant. And you know who the son is? The one who was writing the book. Samuel. Uh, the last of the great prophets. The last of the great judges, I mean. Okay. Probably there was no, no, no greater judge than, than Samuel. If you know the story, no? Judge, okay. Samuel was the last judge and he ushered in no, the reign of kings. There's something prophetic there. No? Samuel was a man born of prayer. And this same Samuel was the last judge that gave birth to a new season in the nation of Israel, the reign of kings. Kaya kung titignan yung Bible nyo, di ba? Book of Judges, pagkatapos, anong susunod sa Judges? Kings. Okay. Here's another story. Genesis chapter 30, was it 33? Can you put it up? Oh, no, no, no. The one I mentioned in the, the chat. The one I communicated in the chat a while ago. Is it there? Okay. So, Okay, verse 24. So Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him till daybreak. Jacob was, at, at this moment, he felt that his life was in danger. Just, just to give you the story, the background. He was supposed to meet his brother the following day. And the last time that actually, you know, the reason that he has not seen his brother because he tried to escape his brother's wrath. Dinaya niya kasi yung kapatid niya several years back. Niloko niya and his brother took an oath na papatayin niya itong si Jacob. Okay? Dahil niloko nga to si Jacob. No? And now, Jacob was about to meet his brother again and then he was afraid for his life. He might be killed. Huh? And, and sabi dito, it, it is at this moment that si Jacob was left alone and what is interesting is as he was alone, we are told that there was a man, all of a sudden, uh, a man appears on the scene. I want you to picture this. No, parang if, if you're watching a movie, so Jacob was there, okay, and then all of a sudden, there was a man no, that he was wrestling with. The picture, no, nakikipambuno daw sa isang lalaki. And, and probably one of the most intense sports that can be described is the sport of wrestling. No, not, not, not yung ano, ah, uh, WWE, ano, joke lang yun eh. I'm talking about your Olympic kind of wrestling that you have to pin your opponent. You no, know, you have to get them on the ground and then you know you, you wrestle. Nakiki pambunuga. You're struggling with someone. No, and then if you picture yourself, you no, know, you're wrestling, you're you're trying to push someone and pin someone, and you no, know, or or someone is trying to escape and you're holding them, you no. Know. So this man was wrestling with Jacob Sabidon until daybreak. In other words, Whole night! Hanggang sa nag, nag, ano na daw, nagbukang liwayway na daw. Until morning. He, no, Jacob was just struggling with this man, wrestling with him. No? And, and the man, sabi, when the man saw that he could not overpower him, interestingly, yung, no, he cannot overpower Jacob. No? 
Anong ginawa nung, nung mama? He touched the socket of Jacob's hip, no? So that his whip, hip was wrenched as he wrestled the man. In other words, in some translations, no? He dislocated the hip bone. How many of you know that is painful? If, if you watch, uh, ano tawag nito? Uh, uh, UFC or uh, how do you call that sport? MMA. Mixed, mixed martial arts. No? If someone's shoulder or bone is dislocated, that's the time. No, you, you, you're, you're done. You tap out. Tapos ka na. You cannot fight with a dislocated hip. That would be so painful. No? So, ginawa nung mama, no, dinislocate na daw yung hip, yung hip ni Jacob. No? Then the man said, apparently, what, what Jacob was doing, Jacob was holding on to the man, wrestling him with all his life. Ayaw niyang pakawalan. Kumakalas na, kumakawalan itong lalaki ito, talagang nakikipagbuno si Jacob, ayaw niyang pakawalan. Sabi na nung lalaki, Let me go! It is daybreak! Come on! It's already morning! Are you not tired? I would be tired if that was you old. But with Jacob will not just let go. He would intensely, passionately hold on to this man. And Jacob replied to the man, I will not let you go unless you bless me. I will not let you go. I will not let you go unless you bless me. Then the man asked him, What is your name? Okay. Quite an interesting story. Buong gabi na silang nagpapambuno, hindi pa pala sila magkakilala. Ngayon pa lang sila nagpapakilala. Ah! Alam mo. <laughs> no, it's, it's, I'm, 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 it, It's not really what was happening. So, yun nga sabi, pakawalan mo na ako. It's Dave. And, and si Jacob, he was in pain and he was still not let go. And sabi ni Jacob, hindi kita papakawalan hanggat di mo ko binibless. Ano yun? What, what's going on here? Then the man asked, what's your name? And of course, sinabi ni Jacob yung pangalan. Sa Jacob. Now, alam niyo ba yung pangalan Jacob? No? Some of you know this already. Literally, the word Jacob means liar. Kaya nga mayroong movie si Robin Williams, Jacob the Liar. Literally, Jacob means liar, deceiver, manipulator. Jacob is not a nice name. Anyone? <laughs> during that time. During that time. Ano <laughs> si Jacob? <laughs> no, 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 no. It wasn't a nice name. Like, you, you. Uh, literally, in, in, in Hebrew, okay. Sino dito natawag na sinungaling? Minsan natawag tayo sinungaling, talagang sinungaling ka. Pero kung imagine, no, kunyari, no, no, roll call. No? Kunyari, ako yun. No? Jacob ang alam ko. It's like saying, sinungaling panlilyo. Present. <laughs> like that's your name. That's what it means. Pero hindi lang pangalan ni Jacob yun. Apparently, yun yung buhay niya. Eh. Yun nga. He actually deceived his brother. He deceived his father. He was a liar, manipulator. No, Jacob was not a good man. But this was an epic night for him. He was holding to this man that was asking him to let him go, but he would not let go. The man asked him, Jacob, said, what is your name? And probably that was a hard question to answer. Because he was not only saying his name. He was describing who he is. And he's probably at that moment, and napipicture ko lang at that moment, Jake, when he said Jacob, he was being reminded of how bad he was. He's probably saying to this man, yeah, you're right. I'm Jacob. I'm a liar. I'm a thief. I'm a scoundrel. I'm a manipulator. And then plot twist. Then the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel. What was my point? Remember what my point is? What's my second point? Fervent prayers are prayers that give birth. 
something happened that night thousands of years ago at that moment a nation was born <laughs> you need to understand that the nation of Israel the literal nation of Israel that you know today are the descendants of Jacob something happened that night not only was his name changed not only was his life changed something was birthed and the kind of prayer you know, this prayer what, what, the description was it was a wrestling and how many of you have wrestled for your destinies? How many of you have wrestled for God's purposes in your life? No, God has a plan. God, may, may plan just para sa you. But you have to fight for it in the spirit and cry out to the Lord. Lord, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Satan will try to steal God's purposes in God's destiny for you, for our nation. But God is looking for people who will not let go, will not stop, would not give up until they give birth. God! God! I will not let you go. Lord, bless our nation. Lord! Lord! Lord, fulfill my purpose, God. Jacob fought for his true destiny. Satan was you know, sidetracking side him. No, he made him a liar, a thief. And yes, he failed. But at that moment, he had an opportunity with God and in prayer, it was a picture of wrestling. Eh? So said, no, the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob but Israel because you have struggled with, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Here's the revelation. You have struggled with you have struggled with God and with humans. He was struggling with, who was he struggling with during that night? It was God himself wrestling. Jacob said, please tell me your name. But he replied, why do you ask my name? Then he blessed him there. He blessed him. He blessed him there. Okay, next. So Jacob called the place. What's the place called? Say, say it with me. Read it. Peniel, saying, it is because I saw God face to face. I saw God face to face. The sun rose up above him as he passed Peniel, and he was limping because of his hip. Therefore, to this day, the Israelites, Israel, the Israelites do not eat the tendon attached to the socket of the hip, because the socket of Jacob's hip was touched near the tendon. Now the Jews today, the Israelites, you know, till today though, they don't eat that part. To remember, to remind them of that night, a nation was birthed. Fervent prayers give birth. Kaya pag give birth, iba yung babae na nangangana, na, talagang umiye siya. Ah! Yan yung term nyo, Push! Push! Ah! How many of us have been pushing? The baby knows. The baby knows. Out of the child, uh, out of the mouth of babes, sabi sa Bible. Yan push. Uh, ano yung, may acronym nga daw yung push eh. Pray until Something happens. Tayo, ano eh, pray until I fall asleep. <laughs> pray until I get tired. You want to see ha thing happening, you, you want to see things happening in your life? You need to know this kind of prayer. Yeah, there's still. 
There's still so much to talk about, but I think we should pray. Let's pray for revival. Let's pray. And you know, yeah, I Asbury. No, two weeks now. They have pictures there. Can you show some pictures if you have? This has been ha- like right now. This is still happening. Oh, by the way, can you imagine? The classes had to be suspended. Not because there was a rally. Not because there was... They cannot hold classes because the presence of God was so powerful. People were coming to the church, to this actually cha, parang chapel service dito. Right? <laughs> Outside, the line, it will take two days. Sabi ng friend ko na nagpunta. Two days para ka makapasok. No, no lights, no spectacular. No, no, it's 24 said, tuloy, tuloy to. People are being converted. People are being changed. And sabi ko nga, Lord, kahit konting ambun lang. No? Ambun lang nung revival. I want to experience that. I want to experience real change happening in our nation happening in the campus again, in the universities again. Okay? Fervent prayers. Let's pray. God, I want, I want your prayer. Seek see, see God. Seek His will for your life. Pray that God's will be established in your family, in your marriage. Maybe some of you, the devil's trying to destroy your marriage. The devil's trying to destroy your family. He's trying to break your family apart. Maybe you're about to quit. Maybe, oh, maybe some of us, you know, we lose our fire. You know what this means? You know how you prayed intensely before, but somehow... Parang throughout the years, you've forgotten what, how powerful this is. This is what shaped you, but somehow you have given up. And, eh. But right now, the Lord just wants to let that fire, there's a flame, come to the altar of God. His fire is alive. Come, light yourself up once again in the presence of God. And yes, yes, if you feel like, yeah, crying out. No, Jesus... Those are the kinds of prayers that Jesus prayed. Those are the prayers that Jesus prayed. Strong crying in tears from the one who could save him. God, Lord, 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 Lord. Lord God. Ah, Lord. Oh God, my God, I need you. Oh God, my God, I need you. Now, how I need you now. I'm standing on your faithfulness On your faithfulness Oh God, my God, I need you Oh God, my God, I need you now How I need you now Come on, let your prayers rise up before God Come on. Oh, rock, oh, rock, of ages. I'm standing on your faithfulness. On your faithfulness, oh God. Oh God, my God, I need you. Oh God, my God, I need you now. How I need you oh. now. God, Lord. Oh, rock, oh, rock, oh, Lord. Ages. I'm standing. Lord.
Can I just Can I just invite everyone right now just if if you could kneel no and just be just just be in a position of prayer and I want you to pray I want you to seek God for your life tell the Lord Lord I want you Lord I want you God I want you I want you more in my life Go ahead. The psalmist said, My soul pray follows hard after thee. Go ahead. Just let your heart right now. Let your heart right now just, just follow. Seek God. Seek God right now. Just seek God, Lord. And go ahead. Just, just let your prayers rise up before God. Just begin to cry out, Lord, Lord. Go ahead. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit helps us in groanings that cannot be uttered. Sige, pray lang tayo right now. Allow the Lord to, to, to put the prayers in your heart. Sometimes you just have to groan. Just have, you just have to wrestle. You don't even know the words, but sometimes you just, just cry, Lord. Lord God, Lord, 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 Lord. Go ahead. Ask the Lord to save you. Ask the Lord to save you. God, Lord, 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 you did it for Jacob, Lord God. You did it for Anna, Lord. Right now, some of you, you need to give birth. You need to give birth. You need to give birth. You need to give birth to the next generation. Some of you, the Lord is putting your university, your campus. You need to give birth to young people. You need to give birth to revival. Right now, just, just begin to pray. God, Lord, Lord. Lord, 
Lord, God, 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 Lord, Lord. Lord, 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 Holy Spirit, God, Lord, 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 we want you, Lord, 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 God, just seek his presence instead, Lord, Lord, I want to feel you, I want to feel you, I want to feel your touch, I want to feel your touch, Lord, Lord, Lord. Maybe some of you, you need to give birth to the salvation of your family. Pag-pray mo, pag-pray mo, nanay mo, tatay mo, kapatid mo, just give birth in the Spirit. Give birth. Give birth, God. Lord, Lord. 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 Jesus. Lord, may we be a church, Lord God. May we be a church of prayer, Lord, a house of prayer. night and day let incense arise from this church from our hearts Lord want to thank you God we thank you Lord for the privilege of of praying in Jesus name Amen Amen let's give a clap to the Lord you're watching Destiny Church if you would like to check more resources or donate to this ministry you can download the Destiny Church PH official app or log on to www.destinychurch.org.ph slash give.